we were just talking about the surprise that was pulled on me last weekend, y'all. I think my birthday, I don't know what date it is. The 19th. It was January. No, I know it's January the 19th, <laughs> but I don't know what day that is. It's in a few days or two days yes, or something. Yes, it's in two days. It's on a Wednesday. Anyway, uh, Eddie came to me and told me that we're doing a family photo uh, shoot this past Saturday. And I didn't think a thing about it because we do update our photos every couple of years, <clears throat> especially with the children growing. So uh, I remember <laughs> back then Emily was here to do my hair and makeup. And she said, how do you want to wear your hair, Paula? And I said, well, what's easier on you to do it down and then put it up for other, sh other photos? And I noticed she said, she didn't get what I was saying. And we do things like this all the time. And uh, finally, I just said, oh, just, just do it down. If it doesn't look good, we can put it up a little later. And uh, I told Eddie, <laughs> when he was telling me about this shoot, I said, I don't know if you've noticed, but I hadn't been asking any questions about this. Because if Eddie tells me it's the solid truth, I can, I can, Mm. Go to bed knowing. So now you know. Yes, there. yes. So <laughs> I was back in in the uh, bathroom and um, I was you know getting my shirt on or what whatever I was doing my earrings or something and I said it sounds like a party in the kitchen so I figured maybe all the kids had gotten here and I was hoping that Michelle was gonna be able to make it because her family had been under the weather. Well, I walked in the kitchen. It was full of folks that ain't got nothing to do with family photo <laughs> sessions. Well, it was it was kind of family. It was extended it was, family. Yeah, extended was, family. Family that the kind of family that you pick because you love them. Yeah. I am standing up here just nibbling on what I'm supposed to be fixing, but Aunt Peggy was here, and Bubbles and Phil. And um, so many of of my friends couldn't come. Not that I have a bunch of friends. Yes, you do. <laughs> COVID kind of was really yeah. Shrimping. A lot of folks couldn't come, but the ones that were here, I appreciate them. But you know, I'm just not too big on surprise birthday parties. Well, and we, I mean, it was, it was a, it was a surprise oyster it, rose. So it was an outdoor, I, outdoor I, event. I know. It was. <laughs> and Eddie, Eddie said something about, uh, he did say, we're going to be doing a low country ball. Yeah. No, we're going to be doing a meal for this photo shoot. And I said, a meal? <laughs> and he said, I said, well, what are we doing? And he said, um, a uh, low country ball. <laughs> well, now, technically, I did not fib. I mean, we did have hair and makeup, mm -hmm. and someone was there taking photos Take of you. <laughs> so, uh, and it was Michael's idea. And it was Michael's so, idea. So, Eddie, you were only following instructions. I was, yes. I was, I follow instructions. Michael, I follow. Michael was. <laughs> but it's a, that was so it's a sweet milestone. and thoughtful. It's a nice I don't, I'm not going to say it because I it know you're It is children. a milestone. No, I, listen, I've earned every year I got. I have earned them. So tell them how, what age you turn, will turn in two days. I'm 57. <laughs> I'll be 57. <laughs> you and I are the same age. It's, oh, uh, are we? We are. Well, I know it involves those two numbers. <laughs> and I get confused, y'all. Is it 57 or 75? I'm going with 57. <laughs> Me too. Oh, someone swapped the candles on the cake. So. <laughs> did they really? I yes. did. When I saw those candles, I turned them around to say 57. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> They're well, only numbers. Well, no, Aunt Peggy, up until the day before she came, was uh -huh. still thinking. I told, you know, because we started planning this back right after Thanksgiving. And really? Yes. Gosh, Michael was on the ball, wasn't he? God love him. And so Aunt Peggy... Asked Susan like the night before they were coming. Uh -huh. Now, what should I wear for this photo shoot? And Susan said, "Aunt Peggy, it's not really a photo shoot." <laughs> <laughs> she had already forgotten what it was. 
Oh, I love my Aunt Peggy well, so much. Well, you know, she's 49. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Or 39. Oh, yeah, She's going to be 39, 39 coming up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Well, I'm making her older. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, she called me yesterday, y'all. And we were trying to talk to each other and have a conversation. And neither one of us, we've all gotten, we've both gotten so forgetful. You know, some of the easiest words. We just can't, <laughs> we can't get them out there. And, uh, she was saying, oh, I, I can't remember. And I'd say, oh, well, so-and-so-and-so. And so, and so, but I can't remember either. So she finally said, hey, on fire. I'm going to hang up because I can't remember any of the words to my story. <laughs> and I said, I'm with you. <laughs> I can't tell you my story either because I'm forgetting half the words. <laughs> now, this is, this is one of those uh, recipes that you can do. Uh like a warm bread pudding or a cold trifle. So I'm doing a cold trifle today. And uh, I'm using a box of instant vanilla pudding. And I've got two cups of heavy cream that has been whipped. And we are gonna put a combination of cinnamon and sugar in with the whipped topping. Yeah, this is real, real easy to make. And in this one, I'm going to add, I've already poured in the vanilla flavoring. I think I was talking <laughs> and didn't tell y'all. Uh, but I'm putting some brown sugar. And you can find this recipe on the website, can't you? Yes, ma'am. And as always, it'll be um, linked to this. Video. Okay, good. So. All right, so I have put half of the toasted cinnamon bread down. And now I'm gonna put the raisins in that I have soaked in a dark rum. All right, now we've got our brown sugar and cinnamon whipped into our cream. And we've got our pudding over here that I added the brown sugar and vanilla to. All right, so. Spread this out. I can't get over how good, just how good that cinnamon bread is. I know. And it was a buy one, get one. Uh-uh, buy That's one, so get nice. one free. Mm -hmm. Well, how come we're not making two of these? <laughs> All right. You might need to after you. <laughs> I know it. Don't forget it. the cream. Don't forget the whipped cream. Oh, I forgot. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> I'm still thinking about Aunt Peggy's underwear on her head. That picture. We have a picture. I know I'm we do. I have to get that pulled out. It's, it's right it's there. It's right in there. It's, right. it's hanging in that pantry. When you finish this okay. dish, you might have to go okay. there and end this by showing you okay. Aunt Peggy. <laughs> It used to hang in Bubba's, do you remember? Yes. Oh, oh you know, it, it was sad losing my mother and daddy. It was very sad for Bubba and me. Oh, uh, but Aunt Peggy sure, sure was wonderful to have. That was, Aunt Peggy was my mama's sister. Oh. Was she older or younger? Aunt Peggy was two years younger. Okay. Okay, good. so that's all of that. And now I'm gonna put the rest of our pudding. I think this could have stood another. We could have done the big box, the pudding? Yes, I think so, because uh, the recipe calls for a four ounce and I don't think there's any such thing as a it four isn't. ounce. It's like three and a half. So this is gonna be really skimpy, Teresa. Well, it's also it's just- It's been so many that years. That trifle bowl's a little short and fat too, so. Yeah. It's been so long since I've made this. It's all, all gonna right. eat good though. Yeah. I can all see right. it. Now I'm gonna put uh, the rest of the raisins. 
and a little rum. <laughs> gonna wet it up a little bit this cream i can smell the rum oh uh -huh, you can yeah mm. <laughs> the rum and cinnamon oh uh -huh. you could probably like add bananas to this too like if you wanted to add a oh there's so many things you could do to this teresa mm. oh but this does need to sit in the refrigerator but Next time I make it, I will increase the pudding. I think I would use three, I mean two, three and a half ounce puddings. Cause I do like a lot of custard. I won't, I'll make that change on the recipe. Yes, that would be wonderful. And then that way they'll have the... Yeah. I don't want them eating a dry trifle. <laughs> and I mean, I'm gonna get every bit back <laughs> that cream out of there. Do we have some uh, spiced pecans left from Christmas? You, you know, can... I don't know if we do or not. I think I might have eaten them all. Because <laughs> <laughs> there was some sitting on that table, and I think I might have got into them. Yeah, Eddie, you missed our conversation about. Eating sweets at night that they talk to us. Yeah. Mm -mm. So this is gonna go in the refrigerator and let it sit and mellow out. <laughs> You've already tasted all of it together, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good. It's good, y'all. Okay, so in the refrigerator it goes. You can see the the pudding. I didn't separate the pudding too good. I put too much on the ground floor. <laughs> but there we go. I'm going to cover it, put it in the refrigerator, and let it sit for two, three, four hours. And it's a nice dessert. Um, I think I may sprinkle some more raisins and maybe some nuts on top. And it'll make a nice, easy dessert to serve to your friends and your family. So we'll come back and we'll taste that later. All right. So, uh, our raisin bread trifle has been in the refrigerator just sitting in and marrying all those ingredients together. Now, I did sprinkle some real finely chopped pecans and some more raisins on top. So, this is one of those dig deeps. Oh, Michael, I think you're gonna love this. You know, the cinnamon toast that I had been buying? Uh-huh. It's, um, I didn't use that particular brand, but same, same thing. So, I made this trifle. Thank you. Uh, out of cinnamon raisin bread. That's good. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. I made it years ago, but you know, I I've probably forgotten. It looks fresh. Huh? I said, looks fresh. Well, <laughs> it is fresh. I made it today. I said you made it years ago. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> mm. Good, isn't it? Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I like the raisins, those are a nice addition. Mm -hmm. And the um, the toasted raisin bread is good in there. Cinnamon raisin. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. I'm so glad you walked in the door just in time to. Let's melt some. 
Have your dessert before your dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's like his nose is as long as a ant eater's nose. Because when I'm cooking something, it's like he walks in the door. It's perfect timing. <laughs> Dumb. Mm, delicious. Loving best dishes, y'all. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.